We're standing in Parliament Square at the moment, opposite the House of Commons. And the reason that we're here is because this weekend, during the, uh, during the demonstrations that were taking place and the strikes were taking place, people wanted to also demonstrate solidarity. The way that they're doing that is they're occupying Parliament Square, which has always been a public square for the use of people to debate and raise issues. They're using it to have a debate about what democracy really means and who, how we can be properly represented. So in Parliament Square at the moment, Despite all the police intimidation, people are coming here and having a proper debate about the issues of the day. Just as you mentioned, police intimidation, I'll just get a shot of that. Those people have been out on strike in the last week. We had uh, midwives and other workers in the NHS last Monday, job centre staff on Wednesday, and then today, this Monday, we've had uh, the Society of Radiographers out on strike. What, 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 what's your position on those strikes? I support them 100%. I've been on the picket lines, the health picket lines, the civil service picket lines. And it's interesting, isn't it? We've got people coming out on strike now whose unions have never been on strike for a century, or at all. And it's because of the depth of anger that people feel. And you can feel people suffering. In my community at the moment, we're experiencing a wave of poverty that we've not seen maybe since the 1930s. And the housing situation is a nightmare. People are finding it difficult to put food on the tables. A million families now a year go to food banks. And in addition to that, we're having people sanctioned and losing their benefits altogether. So ab absolute poverty is now taking place. So you can see why people in work are coming out on strike. And remember, two thirds of the children that are living in poverty in our country are in families that are in work. So the pay wages are just not good enough. From the five years between September 2009 and, and sorry, from March 2009 to March 2014, the wages have fallen by, for the average person, 1,750 pounds a year. So why do you think that's happened, first of all? And what can we do about it? It's a deliberate policy of the coalition government, who, who effectively are, sim are simply representatives of the City of London, the rich and the corporations. And they're trying to use this crisis, not just to ensure that working class people just pay for the crisis, but also to shift wealth and power back into their hands. And they've been very successful at it. The, ri the richest people in this country and the corporations are having a field day. They're making billions. Their last figure, I think, since the crisis started, there's something like an increase of about 47 billion in the richest in the hands of the richest people. So this is all about making working class people pay for the crisis and then ripping them off in the meantime. That's why people are so angry. People are angry that they're having to pay for the crisis that was caused by not them but by bankers and others. But at the same time, the, the corporations are exploiting the crisis. Energy prices going up, prices in the shops going up rents increasing, people not being able to afford their mortgages, ripped off time and time again. That's why people are angry, and I'm bloody angry about it as well. What, what can we do about it? That's the we can mobilise, first of all. If you're, in, if you're in a union, if you're not in a union, join a union, if, if you're in work. If you're in a union, make sure that union is mobilised. And the best form of mobilisation is to take industrial action. And the best form of industrial action is not when one union comes out on strike, but when we all come out together. Now, we're calling for the TUC now to start coordinating industrial action so we can be effective. If, if you're not in work, there are ways in which you can link up with the trade union movement. For example, Unite has this community membership, so you can join that. But also, you should be campaigning on individual issues, joining some of the social movements that are taking place. UK Uncut demand that people and organisations pay their taxes. DPAC, disabled people against the cuts, campaign against cuts and benefits for people with disabilities. There's a whole range of social movements now that you can join and get involved in. The most important thing is to link up. One of the things you can get involved in now, and it's taking place in Parliament Square in, in, in central London, is the Occupy movement. Occupy have always been a group of people that come together when necessary to debate the main issues that are affecting our country. And one of the main issues is democracy and how we're not being represented. So Occupy is an ideal vehicle for people to get involved in. Why should people who are working class people, uh, people in the Labour movement or people in the anti-austerity movement, why should they vote Labour in the upcoming general election? Well, the most important thing is that they vote they vote for candidates who are standing against austerity. The Labour Party still has um, the support of working class people and on that basis is the only party that we've got that could form a government um, which is associated with the working class. The Labour Party at the moment, its policies are well best described by saying it's austerity life. So they're saying they'll reverse some of the current government's policies, but they're still going to implement some of the cuts that they inherited from last government. So the battle actually is, yes, get a Labour government elected, but the battle is then to make sure a Labour government reflects what we really need in this country, which is a significant redistribution of power and wealth 
And in that way, we may be able to change the lives of millions of people who are suffering under this government at the moment.